Narcissists end up destroying their own lives. Narcissists have a lot of pride and arrogance. They reveal an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They're full of themselves. They're highly opinionated to where they can be condescending, hubristic, overbearing and patronizing. They may treat you in a way that seems kind or helpful, but it betrays a feeling of superiority as though they're better than you, which is why they typically like to be in a position of power and influence because they like to dominate and lead. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be the commander or the one in charge, as long as you have a vision and a path to realizing it. As long as you're taking risks and not following the status quo, because that's what being a leader is all about. Because otherwise there's no reason for you to be led unless you're being led off the beaten path. The problem with narcissists is that they have no vision or direction because they don't use logic or reason. They will direct you based on however they feel in one moment, which as we know can change from one moment to the next. So it will result in a lot of contradictions statements or position opposite to one already made because it all depends on their feelings and their feelings can change very quickly so there's no distinct purpose or direction at times it may seem like there's no reason for why they do certain things there's no intention or objective no sense of resolve or determination because they actually don't even know where they're going they haven't even thought about it. It just depends on however they feel in the moment, which doesn't make any sense because they're very vain. They show excessive pride and admiration in their own appearance or achievements. When it's just empty and valueless, it's not useful or important. It's pointless, worthless and purposeless. There's a lack of a clear intention. There's no fixed plan, no definite purpose, so it never amounts to anything. It's just a figment of their imagination. And if you're susceptible to it, it's a shared fantasy, an activity of imagining improbable things, because there's just no foundation or structure to it, which is why the illusion will actually crumble very easily if it is presented by anything grounded in reality. Because if that were to happen, they would immediately lose their sense of pride and arrogance, and then they would experience shame. It would cause a narcissistic injury, which is why they hold on to the illusion so strongly, because they don't want to feel the shame. They'd rather project that onto you, which ironically gives you the power over them because by deflecting their shame, it prevents them from developing any real strength or authenticity that comes from taking accountability, from responding to the best of your ability, from answerability and obedience, from compliance with an order or request. But because they lack accountability, they end up becoming a liability not only to you but to themselves. It's what prevents them from ever achieving success because they want to go against the grain. They want to be contrary to the natural inclination or feeling because they think that gives them power over you. But it actually puts them at a disadvantage because all they're left with is this overconfidence where they feel certain of their abilities or of their chances of success as though they have the talent, skill or proficiency when they've never actually accomplished their aim or purpose. They've never had a favorable outcome or result. They've never met a defined range of expectations. So all they've ever experienced is failure. But they try to take your focus away from that.
by trying to destroy your self-respect or personal worth to where it then creates an illusion because their pride and arrogance is faulty and incorrect. It's not based on any real success or achievements because they've never achieved a positive result but instead they delude themselves by taking on an authoritarian role or by acting as though they don't care about what you think or feel which only reveals their insensible and unbalanced attitude and behaviour because while they may have requirements for you they don't want you to have requirements for them which is a double standard it reveals that they have no intrinsic morals or values and they also feel no need to apologise or ask for forgiveness because of their own past shameful experience where they felt like they were giving someone the upper hand which actually puts them at a disadvantage because they're holding resentment and a grudge it reveals that they feel like they have been treated unfairly which is a typical trait of covert narcissism they think that the world owes them even though they haven't done anything to earn it because they have this faulty and incorrect belief in their own arrogance and superiority which isn't based on anything grounded in reality it's just something they've made up inside their heads and because they think life is so unfair to them they assume that you're deserving of mockery or ridicule or of them being condescending to you because despite their lack of success and accomplishment they believe that regardless of that they're always right because they think they're special and unique they think they're the only one of its kind they're unlike anything else they're a distinct individual when in fact they're just like every other narcissist because no matter what part of the world you're from they all think and act exactly the same so in fact they are common and ordinary they're typical, expected, familiar and usual there's nothing distinctive, individual, special, quirky or eccentric about them but yet they have this faulty belief in their minds that they are unique and superior which really reveals just how delusional they are and yet they demand and expect special treatment as though they're better or more important than other people when they're not even offering anything to you they haven't done anything to earn it which again reveals their arrogance and sense of entitlement because they expect you to see it as a privilege just to be around them as though they should have the right to a particular privilege or benefit just because they exist just because they have this objective reality in their heads these personal opinions and feelings rather than on facts and of course we all have our own inner world of our minds we all have our own world of feelings and emotions but it often differentiates from the truth of events as opposed to interpretation as opposed to an individual's explanation or opinion of what something means because their subjective reality is not based on facts, evidence, research or even personal experience it's just coming from their own pride and arrogance which is not based on any success in the objective reality in anything that exists as it is independent of any conscious awareness of it it's all based on their perception or thought it's not based on facts it's an illusion so it's not self-validating which is why it requires excessive external confirmation and it's very different to how we might think or behave even though we may be far more successful than the narcissist that we are dealing with 
and we have achieved real world practical success as opposed to something that is imaginary or simulated as opposed to an emotion that is pretended or feigned which is why we may naturally experience a quality of coziness and comfortable conviviality that gives rise to a feeling of contentment and well-being where we feel warm, comfortable and safe and we're naturally friendly and lively we desire to make other people feel happy and comfortable and we create a warm atmosphere and enjoy the good things in life with good people because we practice self-care, gratitude and mindfulness we have achieved and accomplished things in our lives which we are ready to show appreciation for and to return kindness we are thankful so we want to give appreciation and recognition because we're conscious, attentive and aware we're comfortable and secure we feel good about our lives so we're able to attend to the comfort and wishes of other people we're able to participate and enjoy friendly gatherings and telling stories or we may also like being home wearing comfortable clothes or taking an unhurried and relaxed hike or walk so that you can connect with nature because you enjoy simplicity things that are uncomplicated and easy to understand but narcissists no they can't do any of that because they're egotistical they're absorbed in themselves they're self-centered they consider themselves to be superior and more important to whether erratic and unpredictable they're always diverging from a previous course they're always digressing to things that only have a slight or indirect connection with the thing that they are concerned with and therefore is not worth considering seriously because it doesn't mean anything it holds no significance or value and yet they want you to join them in their episode of psychosis which causes hallucinations and illusions and results in confused speech, mood changes and improper behaviour as it begins to affect you and causes you severe anxiety and even social withdrawal because they like it when you argue with them they're very competitive, they're always trying to outdo you they're always trying to overshadow you and take you out of the picture when it's just very undesirable and unwelcoming it doesn't tend to entice you because it's not offering pleasure or an advantage it's a liability an unfavorable circumstance that reduces your chances of success and effectiveness it just causes you problems while well, healthy people will want you to join them there but narcissists they're just full of drama and chaos which will begin to throw you into disarray if you're around them long enough so in the end you're left with a choice to join them in complete confusion and disorder or to embark on a personal journey towards safety and contentment and it's just far more desirable and attractive to find comfort in something that brings you contentment and well-being and you may even find that you could be an initiator of peace and tranquility so I think I know which one I'd rather be but the narcissist will continue along their path of destruction while destroying themselves in the process 
because pride is meant to be a feeling of pleasure and satisfaction that you get because you or the people connected with you have done something good. Narcissists have a false sense of pride. It's different. Because it's only for themselves. So it gets in the way of them having healthy relationships. And it gets in the way of them saving themselves. All they really have is an excessively high opinion of themselves and their importance because their pride is all about them. They live vicariously through other people and their success but they would quite happily remove that person and take all the credit for themselves if they could because they don't appreciate, accept or respect the success of other people. They're very envious. So they just want to take whatever they can from people because they don't care about you. All they care about is how people make them look. They have a false sense of pride, which results in them having a strong sense of entitlement, where they believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. which means that they will never have a thoughtful or meaningful relationship with anyone because they expect to be chased and begged before they even consider doing anything for you. They believe they're superior to other people so they don't treat people fairly, justly or honestly which is why they will often expect an apology even when they were the ones who did wrong and they would expect you to contact them when they're the ones who are desiring your involvement and participation they would expect you to give up on something valued in order to help them despite the many times that they have disappointed you they expect to be forgiven for every hurtful thing they have said and done to you they want you to forget everything and act as though they were only ever kind and helpful to you but their pride is their own loss of power, prosperity and status. It's their own ruin, destruction and defeat. Because it prevents them from accepting the fact that they are the ones who need help. They are the ones who need to change. And their pride will eventually destroy them. As there is no value or reward in being a narcissist. So they will eventually suffer the effects of their behaviour. They will live a life of discontentment and even loneliness. They might find temporary satisfaction in momentarily distracting you or bringing you down. But that doesn't result in long term fulfillment. It actually prevents them from ever attaining that state of mind. Because their happiness and success is all fake. And if you've ever seen what they're like behind the scenes, you will know that they're not happy or satisfied. They can't be, because there is no divine favour or protection in being a narcissist. So no matter what they have or what they achieve, they will never appreciate it or find happiness in it. All they're doing is living a fake life. A hollow existence that lacks substance because a person of substance adds value to the world. They create and accomplish something. They are authentic and genuine. But narcissists lack depth in their character, ideas and actions, which is why they're always miserable. And many of them can't even pretend to laugh or smile. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. 
If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You could book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.